time there's a tragedy in the skies, you think about the loss of life, and then you think, is there anything that could have been done to prevent it? Well, one day there will be. And we were able to get an exclusive look at that technology at the Army Research Lab at the Aberdeen Proving Ground. It's not 2151, and you're not on the Starship Enterprise. To boldly go where no man has gone before. This is just a tip of an iceberg. But researchers at APG are taking you into the future, taking aviation to a place where no airplane has been before. You see here the crack? Mm -hmm. This is the material. Here's the crack. And the epoxy or special glue fill in repair. The crack okay. Z Lee believes one day planes will make the repairs in flight before they lead to problems. The virtual risk inform agile maneuver sustainment technology, or VRAMs, will lead the way. It's an intelligence system on aircraft, technology that would enable planes to sense, detect, assess, and self repair. The chief of the mechanics division at the Army Research Laboratory and his team developed it last year. The Army would be able to track the aircraft health condition and tell the commander in the field that, hey, this aircraft has been damaged. The futuristic technology is likened to that of the human brain. When the aircraft structures, for example, uh, uh, develop a crack or damage, the VRAM would activate. All the cell healing capability would activate itself and break up the capsule releasing the epoxy or glue to seal up or repair the damage. We may have a control system in the aircraft that when the pilot is moving the control stick, passing that third degree, it would vibrate to tell the pilot that you are damaging the component. Mm -hmm. You better ease back the control. That way, the pilot would be able to keep the stress of the aircraft at or below the acceptable level. To see if it works, they're doing all kinds of and, tests. And with those sensors, we can monitor the, the, the crack that we introduced to the structure and um, determine the size and the critical, uh, criticality of, of, the, of the crack itself. We can go at it a lot more aggressively, expedite the progression of damage, and monitor it that way. They're measuring which materials are the most durable, seeing how they respond to wear and tear, evaluating composites that could last the longest for military missions, varying from combat to transport. The more loading cycles it could take before it breaks apart, the better. That's what we're trying to do, more, more loading cycles. They're also developing this technology in hopes of preventing more tragedies. Lee, a former pilot, follows the skies. From the Black Hawk mission last week, where 11 service members were killed, to missing Asian airliners, to the 2002 accident involving a China Airlines Boeing 747. 20 minutes into the flight, it broke up during flight, killing 225 people. And the final uh, investigation showed that it was uh, catastrophic, catastrophically failed because of metal fatigue and because of improper repair. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly this VRAM technology would be able to fix. They'll be tracking, testing, and keeping tabs on data over the next five years, trying to demonstrate whether or not VRAMs can really get off the ground. In the future for the next generation aircraft, can we reduce the maintenance cost or maintenance frequency substantially, ideally to zero, mm -hmm. to zero? And then if we can do that successfully, then we would be able to prevent catastrophic failure. Then we would never have to look for the black box. Now, the research team says they have about five to ten years to prove the technology really can work, and then they begin the process of trying to build it and hopefully seeing it in the next generation of aircraft in 2040. I mean, it's like way up here. Uh, thank goodness way they're genius out there. Uh, but again, everybody's thinking about this. Uh, is, can we use it in current aircraft, and what about our future? You know, what, what's you know they've already been approached about that. Can we speed it up? Can yeah, we speed right. it up? It's costly, yeah. so you can't put it into the current aircraft we have today. But the goal is to get it ready for the next generation of aircraft and also something that could be used in commercial airlines as well. Wow, okay. Keep it going, APG. You're doing a great job.